be right up. Hey, there's no stuff in the general's car. Where is it? Huh? Watch out for my car. Try V16, Brown Caniche. Hola, Rita. You lovely Rita. Wait a second. Where are you going? Come on, I need your help. Where are we going? You're going to take a ride in a brown corniche. You watch out for my paint job, huh? You bet. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Pico always knows what he's doing. Hey, 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 man, where you going? And that's good, man, real good. No, 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 this, this you cannot do. We have got hotel rules here. Oh, no guy named Darling. Not if he owes you some money. Oh, no, no, he promised me a job. Hey, man, the guy can't afford promises. He's not the boss. The guy you have to see is Joe. No, where's he? Down below. Is that a sample of your work? Your name Joe? No, but he hates a smart ass as much as I do. Hey, that's good. Real good. Listen, uh, where's down below? Civilians on lap. Was Ollie here today? Miss Lucy! Tico, brown corniche, please. Employees allowed on the main track. Do not park it on the D level. Hey, come on, I know what goes on down there. You're an employee just like the rest of us. <laughs> Say, excuse me, uh. What's your angle, brother? Are you suggesting that we are related? Well, yeah. I mean, uh. <laughs> Ollie! Captain Wonderbread. Hey! How you doing? Uh, What's happening? Yeah. Listen, uh, can I still get a job here? Are you kicked out of school, too? Nah, drive down. Uh, hey, DJ. Yeah, what's happening? Pete Huffman. Hey, what's going on, man? You tried to unionize lab animals. Or was it the dean's daughter? Who could tell the difference? Listen, Miss Lucy, I ain't kidding and I ain't oh, standing here homesteading. I brain. want my car. Orange Edsel. That's far. Hi. Hello down there. Joe! Tell him I used to show for part-time. You can't tell him anything when he's got his head up some engine. Look at you, Sean. Now, that's the kind of car I deserve. <laughs> They're both available for a price. How you doing today? How are you doing, Sean? That's what I call technique. <laughs> That's why we're engaged. Nice. Wonder Bread, follow this if you can.
Sorry about that. Who the hell are you? Ah, you must be Joe. Well, Lucy told me I should talk to you. Hey, Joe. Did you see him drive? Yeah. Feet up. What do you mean, yeah? He's good. He could leave rubber on your face. Hey, uh, Ollie, I'm trying to get a job. I've got enough clowns down here. Oh, wow. What's the matter, Joe? Huh? You afraid of a little uh, competition? and you know it. Just get that parking crew into shape. Don't worry about it. How do you do, sir? I'm Herbert Penlet as the manager. This is our head of security, Mr. Kruger. They lost my car. Lost? Oh, I hardly think well, so. Well, they can't find it. Well, it may be on level D. Well, they've been looking for it all day long. Oh, dear. A description of the car, please. The Corniche. Corniche. French car. Well, at last. Miss Booty, come on. Another case solved, Kruger. Uh. It's about time, boy. Uncle Fausto! That's my car! Tico, Tico! Tico, Tico? Tico! Hey, Tico, how about those new tires? Mine are bone. Tomorrow, I'll fix you up tomorrow. Patrol. I've been waiting 20 minutes so it took me five to buy it. Hey, dummy. Appropriate action will be taken, sir. This is the last time I stay in this chicken motel. Don't you worry, sir. Mr. Penletter has it all on tape. Pick up dry cleaning. Renew auto insurance. for it as is. I'm telling you, man, we should go for it. There's a lot of money in parts. Hey, we're gonna make seven grand for it restored. Come on. What's he want now? Come on, will you? I've seen hundreds, hundreds, that's right, hundreds of you dummies come and go in this place. You're all alike, all of you. I'm keeping you awake. You're too young for your own good. Who is he, a guidance counselor? Just humor him. It's okay. I'm going to read a list of the things you people have done. Figures. Somebody plucked the feathers off the Eagles grocery store mascot. Now I suppose you're going to drag out that old one about the girl being attacked on level D. No, that wasn't a girl, that was a female cop. No, no, it was the senator's daughter. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I knew the girl personally. It was me, all right? So go on, send me up to the big house. <laughs> you oh, got a wild in the head of my head. Ah! Mm -hmm. Tell this, uh, 
The hotel was built on a swamp. Okay. Say one more thing. It'd be terrific to get rid of all of you by Friday's payroll. Got me. <laughs> Was that a slow burn? <laughs> Commandant, a chance to cool down, all right? Now you're all on good behavior. Oh, come on. Until lunch. I guess you're okay. Come on, Ziggy. Let's put that baby back together. Don't you get tired of just listening? Don't you want to see something? I told you we'd get there someday. Well, when is Sunday? Are we going to go through this again? Yeah. I'm tired of just seeing a travel sticker on a suitcase. Well, I like it here. Loose. Mm -hmm. We can have nooners down here and nobody bothers us. This is paradise. Not for me. I gotta get out on my own. And do what? What do you mean, and do what? Travel. Try something new. See the world. Fine. And move in with me. Joe, you didn't understand a word I said. Sure, I did. We're not together. Nobody you. asked you. What do you got against me? No, no, really. What makes you assume that I'm even thinking about you? 
Ego, I guess. Okay, now I want you girls to read these contracts very, very carefully. I want you to sign where I made the X here and then to initial the changes, okay? Now what we're doing, I'm incorporating you so that you will qualify for your own personal private pension plan later on in life, okay? We're getting all of our money out of the stock market. Good, I'm bearish. I'm bullish. Yeah, and I'm a little, little chicken. So we're getting out of the market, going into REITs, some IRAs, maybe some Chinese porcelains, and very heavily into Norman Rockwell collector plates. Oh, good. I need some dishes. It sounds so official and, and legal to Oh, me. yes, definitely legal. So you run along. You read those in your spare time now. Okay. Spare time only, okay? Thanks very much. Bye-bye. get you one. Go check it out. Yeah. Quite tall. Go get a ladder. Say, man, is it true that she has a tattoo on her head? <laughs> Not only that, it's highly visible. You seen it? Oh, we'll never see it. We have to go on faith. true love if it bit you on your enchilada. Sure he would, right? You got the wobbly knees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, an achy chest with the violin. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, my nose is numb. That, well, that's a clincher. That's not love. Your underwear is too tight. Good day, ladies, and welcome to the Beverly Plaza. I got a pounding heart. My nose is numb. <laughs> well, it's either something he ate or puberty. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a second. 
Wait a second. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Okay. Well, I'm really not okay. See, because my fingertips are tingling and, uh... God, you're terrific. Well, um, look, I don't have time for fun. I'm in a wedding. Oh. You don't have to tell the whole world, Madeline. What's wrong with your friend? Oh, well, she's getting cold feet. Uh-huh. The grooms are going. Family friend, you know. Madeline, huh? <laughs> Madeline. Yeah. What's your name? Tico. <laughs> Madeline, will you please? Look, I've got to go. Uh. Yeah? Can I see you later? How? I can't. I'll see you again. I will. Thanks anyway. Really. Nice to meet you. Bye. Feeling. It's terrific, isn't it? Really terrific. It's magic. Check your nose. I cough. I beg your pardon. I said it's love. Love? You said love. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. Malesh, Malesh. Now, look, if we want to get to these girls, we have to act as a team. We have business to conduct. That's exactly what I'm talking about, getting down to business. Now, these two aren't ordinary girls. This could be the real thing, Your Highness. Exactly, it is the real thing. Now, when's something like this going to happen again? You tell me, Yashikas. But how's never. Exactly, so give these guys their pink slip and let's get on with it. Tinko will get you through the rough spots. Oh, really? It's impossible. Impossible? This is America, my man. We don't know the meaning of the word impossible. Imshe, yeah. Imshe. Ladies' lunches. They pick up the lettuce and leave the good stuff. <laughs> Closet of eating. Well, there goes the main course. Hey, Joe, Mayday, how's the antique coming? I'm adding a few minor repairs. Well, the owner's here and he said he wants it now or he'll press Grand Theft Auto. It's not Grand Theft Auto. He can come down and see it. It's all here. Well, you better get it up here. You got it. He's waiting right at my elbow. Now tell him tomorrow. Tell him, uh, Ten minutes. Ten minutes. You're crazy. Hey, Zig. He says we can't put it together in ten minutes. And he's willing to bet a week's pay on it. I am? Sure you are. You're on. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs>
Thanks this week. I'll be right back. Place to work, huh? Well, after one day's work, I'm a week in debt, but uh, so you don't have any faith, man. If you have some faith, faith, yes. I got faith. Ta da! Huh? Yeah. All the comforts of home. And I suppose this comes with the job. Lucy, what are you doing here? Doesn't uh, Joe shower work anymore? I wouldn't know. Uh, you mean you and... Joe and I are history. Hmm. Ancient? Very definitely. Hey, guys. The unclaimed. Which one is me? The Midwestern Bowlers or the Billy Graham Rally? Bowlers. Billy Graham. Thank you both. Ever so much. Let me make a wild guess. You're available tonight, right? I don't believe you're hitting on me. Oh, nothing violent. Just... Dinner. I have an army physical tonight. <laughs> sure. Really? Well, if you got a head and two legs, I'll make you an officer. Well, I have my pick of assignments. Bavarian Alps. Gay Paris. Romantic Roma. What's your rush? What car is that? Don't ask. I'm a very curious fellow. If you last a week, I'll take you up on the dinner. Not the donuts, they're a no. day away from the gravel pits. Very no. bad. Take the toast, it's dead. Very right. good toast. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for the warning. Good morning. Mm. Ah. Ah. How'd it go with the army? The recruiting sergeant made a pass at me. Yeah, well, what'd you expect from a red blooded American soldier? The sergeant was a whack. Uh-oh. Hey, Tico! Por qué no llamado? Hey, Pico. Got any lonely cars today? <laughs> no. Hey, Tico. You just passed on Juanita. Right. I think we should send this in the Guinness. What are you, sick, Tico? It's not. Oh, my God. 
His earlobes are hot. Not only that, everything's hot, and I can't get to it. Love travels a reckless path on an uncharted sea, strewn with the flotsam and jetsam of broken hearts. English Lit 101. Thought I was sleeping, didn't you? <laughs> Tico, did you offer to take her for a ride? Oh, no, nothing like that. Uh, this one's special. Well, nobody said love was easy, Tico. You see something you want, you just have to uh, reach out and grab it. Well, it ain't that easy, see, because there's things in my way. Like what? Like a wedding. Oh. She's getting married? Oh, no, the Sheik's girl is. My girl just doesn't have time for me. Yeah, maybe he can help. She. Oh, no. I already tried that. Have well, you tried celibacy? How about meditation? Yeah. Cold showers. That's good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You think this is funny? I mean, Tico is having his first honest emotional reaction to a woman, and you think it's funny? Why don't you help him? Yeah, right. That's what I was thinking. Um, come on, Tico. Oh, God. You guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm so loose, my hair is relaxed. He ain't coming. I know he ain't coming. I'm telling you, he takes one of these every day. Look, tell me something. Is this one of the agonies of wealth? Wow. I'm gonna die. I know I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die. So, uh, I'm getting us into retirement bond. Double-edged interest account for bulls and bears. Gold looks good. Hello, Chico. Excuse my impertinence, but I read the name on your tag. Yesterday. I am Chef Armand. Oh, hi, Sheik. I'm Huff. Fellow with the melt of my tie there, that's uh, all. Do you do this every day? Yes, I do. Figures. What figures? Uh, what Tico means is, uh, you're losing all your juice in here, Chief. No wonder you're letting the woman of your dreams slip away. Well, I do admit that I was captivated by the sad beauty of the young lady. But are you willing to chase after her? That is the question. You want us as much as we want them. But are you sure of that? Take it from him. He's a professional. Where? Let's go for it. Hmm. Bernie. He got axed. You mean beheaded? I don't know, canned, packaged, fired, burned. 86? Will you guys knock it off? Well, I was just... Come on, Huff, we gotta get out of here. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Now, I said that I would go along with disguising myself as a parking person, but we still need a sheikh of money. All is a natural actor. Left college to become a star. Speaks three languages, right? That's true. Ghetto English, restaurant French, and car wash Spanish. I don't look like the Sheik. Well, true, but uh, how do you feel? Do you feel like the Sheik? Arrogant, proud, tyrannical, obsessed? I remember what it did for Valentino. Lolly, you must only fool Faoud. Faoud? 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 Yes. He is the most loyal and persistent of all my bodyguards. The others will do as I say. But what happens when he looks at me? It's forbidden for Faoud to look upon my countenance. However, if the role is too big for you... Sheik, there are no big roles. There are only small actors. First thing you gotta do is you gotta lay on the old charm. Give her a nice big smile. 
Tell her how fine she looks. Let her know that you care. Then what you do is you, you take her hand, give it a squeeze. If she squeezes back, you're on your way. And if she takes your hand and starts rubbing your palm with her fingers, you are in like Flynn. Yes. Well, Tika, don't you think this is a bit rushed? I mean, we only just met. Is everybody so negative where you come from? Well, it's a bit different where I come from. You see, in my country, my father rode into my mother's house on a spirited horse and stole her away from her betrothed. <laughs> you don't say. Yes, there was a bloody battle. Her brothers against my father's brothers. Two deaths. One uncle lost the leg. There she is. Uh-uh. Bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. It's cool. Neither of us is the groom. Now, look, don't say anything to the girls about the horses or your father or your dead uncles till after we score, okay? Well, hello again. Hello. Do you have to stay with your friend? Not really. Hi. No? Hi. No. Why don't you show me around the hotel? Come on. Now, let's see this. Oh, it's perfect, my dear. Just beautiful. <sighs> Never realized till now how many handsome men there are in this hotel. Examinations for stewardess school? No, you have to be talented to be a stewardess. Oh. You have to be able to do this six hours a day. Why are you so down on yourself? Work your routines on Tico, not me. And hey, look, you're the one that told me to help him. So now he's on the road to ecstasy. Who's your next target? Don't look at me. I'm booked. What about Ollie? Ollie has a very important business meeting. Oh, I just want to play Ganilla. The kids want to get it. Don't do it anymore. Oh, I can't believe it. What is the biggest one? 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 We'll need a few days to clear this up. I told you we couldn't fool him. Where's Murphy? He's on his lunch break. I've only got an hour. Huh? Yeah. Uh, can I help? I, uh, I need a woman. Join the club. What about Lucy? Get it. Oh, no, no, I, I mean a real woman. Oh. You see, whenever I'm about to close a big sale, I, uh, I get itchy. What business you in? Crockpots. There's another 10 spot in it, if you help me. Yeah. No skinny models, either. I need somebody I can hold on to. Okay. Okay, okay, what's going on here? What? Get him his car, will you? Uh, he doesn't want a car, Mr. Kruger. He wants whatever he wants. Get it for him. <laughs> but we're going to have to start providing some good old-fashioned, personalized service around here from now on. Ah.
What do I do? Find a lady who needs a crock pot. Ah, Lily, have you seen Murph? Not lately. Uh, listen, are you free for an hour? Uh huh. Well, this is all sudden, honey. I didn't know that yeah, you would. Yeah, but it's uh, not for me. Uh, then I'm all booked. <laughs> Get me out of here. No, no, I'm on assignment. Get to my car, boy. I am the sheik. Take a camel. <laughs> miss, miss, what's, what's going on? Uh, the sheik wants his car. It's beneath him to talk to a worker. You should have known that. Hey, you. Me? You. Get the sheik's car immediately. What? Oh. oh! One sheik about getting too much California sun. Where am I gonna find a girl for this clown? <laughs> a blue-eyed pimp. Things are changing much too fast for me. Does he know anything? Food is cool. Well, where do we start? Well, where do you usually look for girls? Well, I always had my best luck in libraries. Libraries? Yeah. Well, they're so quiet. You have to get real close and whisper in the girl's ears. And then uh, they usually just blow a little in between words. Well, oh, another one of my favorite places oh. is the beach. It's at the beach. Oh. You say the guy's only got an hour, right? Yeah. Turn right. Oh. Whew, whew, whew. Oh, yeah. I'm buying some threads like this for my own. These girls can't help themselves. Look at this. I see, I see. Huh? Hi. Oh, <clears throat> we need one of you for an hour. Hey, yeah, well, uh, we work together. Will you take a pair? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're supposed to figure these things out beforehand. All of this isn't a lifetime calling. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Oh, sure thing, man. We've got them all styles and sizes now. Tweezer? Come on out, baby. A tweezer here. You can, you can see this girl. Color film was made for this girl right here. And Inger. <laughs> what can I say? We're talking 3D, you know what I mean? And for you guys that have got an ego to match the size of your tripod, Big Sydney. Well, we need one to go. <laughs> now, wait just a minute, man. This ain't McDonald's, you know yeah, well, what I mean? It's for a friend. Yeah, I've, I've heard that before. I've heard it all before. I get reruns in my sleep. Now, you boys, you just want to get down with one of these girls, hell, just pull out a clicker and shoot from the hip, you know? Sir, I don't think you quite understand. You see, she's for someone else. Boy, you rich bastard just think you can buy any damn thing you want, don't you? Huh, wait a minute, man. My name is Ollie, and I work over at the uh, Beverly Plaza. Yeah, I ain't prejudiced now. You know what I hate, though, is people who make me wait. You see, and I'm waiting every goddamn day at that gas pump. I had to sell him a Cadillac. Had to sell it. Do you realize what it's like for a man in my line of business to make a living out of this? I'm hurting, baby. I'm hurting. I can't move my girls. So my girls are hurting. When my girls are hurting, America's hurting. We're spending so damn much money at your gas pump, we ain't got nothing left to get down with. What are you talking about? I just came down here for a girl. I... Yeah, well, you know what I say to that. You know what America says to that? No gas, no ass. What? No gas, no ass. No gas, no ass. No gas, no ass. No gas. No ass. No gas. No ass. No ass. No ass.
Mitzi, why don't you just put out for Kruger and get him off our back? Oh, I beg your pardon. You're frustrating him. He's really crazy about you. Well, of course he is, but I don't mix business with pleasure. Don't worry, with Kruger it wouldn't be pleasure. Good afternoon, ladies. Afternoon. I've been watching you for some time. You bring a much-needed sense of professionalism to this hotel. I was trained in New York. And it shows. I know. Mm -hmm. Would you assist me in a spot inventory check? Of course. I'll pick a room. Ah, room, uh... 128. Uh, um, someone just moved into that room. No one's registered. Remember the newlyweds from the circus, the ones with the skin disease? I moved them to the second floor. <sighs> Ten minutes. Huff, we have to move. Kruger's checking out our room. When? Now. Cheek. Faud. Room service. What's up? Kruger's coming. We're moving. There's nearly a whole engine in here. Yeah, I was fixing it for a friend. his own laundry. Towels may only be worn in swimming pool area. In future, additional laundry charges will be made for caftans, head squares, and burnooses.
love about me. Hey, Tico, today, my diet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today. Today. You're going to get a tingle. Tico. 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 What? You got some nice legs there. Yeah. Probe Kruger's past for possible mental illness. Uh, where are we going? I know a place. giving up. Neither am I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm here for my wedding. Now, I don't want anyone messing up my car with whipped cream signs or tin cans. Bernie. Bernie. You're up. Oh. How do you do? Aren't you the one who dented my fender the last time I was here? No, no. It couldn't have been me. This is the first day I've ever worked. Very well. Send a dozen roses to my fiance, Ann Wenders. Excuse me. How would you like me to sign the card? The card? Yes, you know, the sentiment. Something appropriate, but not too vernacular. You wouldn't have gone to Harvard, would you? Of course. Predictable. What a squid. I suppose I must send the flowers. Well, why don't you send them in person? All right. Now, I warn you, I'm not all that familiar with American cars. Really? Yeah, the long one makes it go, the big one stops it, turn the key, and let her rip. Right. <clears throat> Oh, my note of adjustment, I'm sorry. Shall we? I think I did well for my first time. You mean you've never driven before? I've always had a chauffeur. Chauffeur?
Hello. Hello. These flowers are for you. Oh, they're beautiful, but they're much too expensive. You should read the, the, the card. With sympathy, Russell? He said to get something appropriate. He didn't even sign it. I had to see you again. I can't believe Russ sent me a sympathy card. No, I selected the card. You sent sympathy? Yes. Perhaps a bit more. You see, the, there is going to be a celebration tonight. One of the aces is eloping tomorrow. That's wonderful. Well, it, it uh, promises to be a rather unique evening, actually. They call it Blitz Night. I was wondering if you'd care to join me, us. The night before my wedding, I couldn't possibly go away with you. I know it's impossible. Um, people are depending on me. I've picked up my wallpaper and my towels and sheets match even. Yes, well. I, I couldn't possibly disappoint everyone. Do not disappoint yourself. Goodbye. I don't know, suddenly everything just seems so final. Why? You've known him all your life. This was all my parents' idea. This is a merger, not a marriage. More flowers? It must be Russell. Huh. Wait a minute. It's them! You are under my spell. You cannot resist the weaving serpent's eye. The heavy lid of slumber slow... What are you maniacs doing? Ladies, we are here to escort you to Blitz Night. Come on, Annie, let's go. I can't. Russell said he'd stop by for a nightcap. Tell him you have a headache. Get into practice. What if his father finds out? He wants a virgin for his son. Well, this is your last night to disappoint him. Madeline, it's impossible. Oh. You've had your fun. Now, please leave. We could see them later. Oh, no. Never again. Excuse me. Shall we? Bonnie, what are you doing? Put me down! Let's go. Tico, do it for real. Okay. You let me down, you moron! I'm like... Not too real. Oh. You've got style. Oh, 
my gosh. A little romance, a little embracement here. I'm getting excited. I can't take it. Would you calm down here and done? Thank you. Okay, folks, let's get those bets in for the final match between the challenger half and the champion, Joe. And I don't believe it's about to happen. The odds are changing in favor of Joe. Hey, no fame? You'll see. And here's the champion, Joe, and I don't have to explain why. You can see it right before your very eyes. Joe, on a shiny Corvette. Looks very calm. He's ready for battle. Once again, the object of the game is to drive the ball into the opponent's goal. dedicate this match to you. Joe? Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out there on the playing field, here comes our very special guest. Cheek. Armani! Why would you want to see this? I mean, he could have anything in the whole world. Well, that's not quite true. Gentlemen, start your engines. As they say in my country, let her rip. Somebody, I just grabbed myself a nice cold bottle of Bro Brew. Baby, reach off into the refrigerator and bring me a nice cold bottle of Bro Brew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro Brew, brewed from Hudson River water. I just love it. You know, so uh, why don't you just drive on down? Oh, get again. <laughs> yeah. We should get the police and smoke them out. We'll do it. I'm with you. Open the hatch! Let's go, man.
tonight. Well, you really showed your, 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 your truly degenerate colors. Lois. Well, I know about the whole thing, all of it. I got names, right, man? Right. Right. There'll be no excuses. Oh, no. No, not this time. I don't believe, I don't believe that the moon and immoral behavior. Hey, we were just dancing. Jeez, you don't think we work in a place like this, do you? Shut up. I'm insulted. Ah, you, you damn it, private property. Hey, Kruger, we use their own cars. Yeah. Mr. Kruger. Nobody save you this time. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, watch him try to save his job. But I believe that your anger is misplaced. You see, the true blame for this evening's occurrence should fall upon my shoulders. Well, you are fired. <laughs> I am Sheikh Armani. Huh? Oh, no. Thank you, Holly. You see, I will do whatever is necessary to see that my friends, all of them, will retain their jobs. All right. No way. We can't be bought. <coughs> we can't? At least not cheaply. With considerable fringe benefits of... <laughs> Come on. for your game. You have a right to be angry. You lied to me. Not with my heart. DJ, you help me out? Sure, for a dollar and a quarter. Yeah, put it on the tab. Uh-huh. Didn't you have your fill of games last night? Well, I guess I got a little carried away. But when you play around with people's lives, they can get hurt. doing some calculating, and I think I figured a way to get us all out of this mess. Really? Huff. I appreciate the sincerity of your... Hey, wait a second. Do you want another shot with Ann? I mean, what do you got to lose? You've devised another plan, have you? Sometimes the old ways are the best ways. After you. What a guy. Jake. Mr. Knopf, you're right up. Hey, Zig, Brown Mercedes, Mr. Knopf from the FBI.
do I do? What, what, what do I do? What, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, get his car, you idiot! All right. Joe, listen, I blew it. I was stripping this guy's car. What guy? What car? Elliot Ness. Joe, have you seen Ziggy? I can't find him. Joe, the car's in parts. Totally in parts. The whole thing? The whole thing. Joe, the government guy wants his car now. You know, I always wanted to do something like this. Something for my country. Come on. I want them over there. I must you see know, what this looks like. Computer, Put them back a little bit. No, that's wrong. You! Over there! You! Yes, you over there. Straight back. Go on. Keep, that's it. Keep going. A little bit to the right. That's it. Now straight back. Keep going. Keep going. I poured all the used drinks into one bucket. Oh. Hey. Huh? Yeah. We never could have been together that quick. No, and we won't again. I know, I don't mind. Well, you must have solved Zig's problem. Well, he's going to be a great grease monkey. He just had some growing up to do. A lot. Joe. Terrific guy, you know. I'm not the guy for you. He is. It's a real sneaky way to get back at him. <laughs> I'm greasy. So. All right, gang. One down, one to go. Let's get out of here. sort of elopement party planned. Right here. Mr. Pedler. Shh. Mr. Pedler. 
that FBI guy's car? It's sitting in a room. All cars must be kept in the garage. Right. of flaming dessert. Look, everything works out for the best, really. What do they want? and dry play. Day's work. I suppose you have a plan to top this one. Yeah. I'm going back to school. Oh. Back east. I'm gonna drive. Grand Canyon, Painted Desert, Black House. 
New England in the fall. You can see all those places you've been reading about. Uh, don't say no. I don't have to go find another horse. Desertion by garage employees. Woo! Possible arson charges, reckless endangerment, Woo! filing a false Ow. alarm, an incitement to riot. And all the blame rests squarely on the shoulders of the head of security, Harry Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> 